Okay, what's up guys? Uh, Raymond Tan here and together with me, Omar. Uh, today we're going to work a bit more on different type of position. We're going to start from half guard. So I'm going to break this down into like few different episodes for us to actually get hold of like position like half guard and where do we transition to. So we're going to work on dogfight and then from dogfight we're going to work on like what if we get into like put our opponent on our back or we're going to work on like position on the back take as well. So I'm going to break it down into a few different episodes. So from, for today's part, we're going to start with like building up the skills on like how to enter the half guard from different positions. We can start from standing, we can work on mount escape to half guard and few other different positions. And from there, we're also going to build a different style of skills where we're going to work on the leg work. And then from the leg work, how do we get to dog fight? So for today's episode, it's going to be all these little details that we're going to work on. Okay, so we're going to start. Okay, we're going to start from a few different positions. So I'm going to start with one simple setup that we're going to work from single leg. So, Omar, stand up. Okay, we're going to work on single leg entry. I'm going to just show a simple single leg entry. I'm going to get a grip on my partner collar. Possibly, I'm going to try to get on this. So from here, I'm going to take one step. I'm going to take one step, I'm going to enter. So once I'm here, I'm going to cup the leg. I'm going to use my head, I'm going to push. Now, I'm in single leg position. And one very important thing when I'm in this position, now if assume I'm trying to take Omar down and Omar doesn't go down, this is where I have the perfect entry for me to go to half guard from here. So all I have to do is just go back down and here the leg is there for me. So all I have to do is just drive myself down. I have a good position here. Okay? I know it looks like somehow he's going to take me down, but ideally, this is the best entry that we are able to work on. And now from here, what I want to do is I'm going to try to nudge him forward to set up for the position. So I'm going to nudge him forward. Now, I have the underhook, and now I'm able to grab the leg into me. Okay? So these are the simple entry that we can work on. So again, one more time from here. Grab, and now take one step, drive. Use my head, nudge up, and now from here, all I have to do is just sit and pull him towards me. Okay? So this is one of the entry that we can work for. And also, if I'm in a seated position. So same thing that we can work for from this side also. This is, we can use a similar entry where I'm also trying to cut to his leg on the forward leg. So now from here, same thing. If Omar, we can also work on this where Omar gonna take a step in, I can drive in. Or in a different position where Omar tries to follow me, I'm gonna take a back step. When I'm ready, cut myself in. So now from here, all I have to do is just pull Omar's leg towards me and cut here. So now this is very important where I'm going to try to fight for the underhook because I don't want him to get to the underhook position so I'm going to use my leg, nudge him forward, grab as deep as possible and try to bring his body as close as possible to me. Okay? And also, another two more setup that we can work for if assume Omar put me in, uh, he tried to go for knee cut from here so now same thing, I frame him, I'm using my leg, so I'm sort of like just kicking him towards me. And I'm able to go for like a similar setup from here. Okay? One more time from knee cut. He push. Get to this position. And, and then one more entry that we can also work on, which is, we're going to start from mount. Okay, so now from here, I'm turning my body, try to push his leg in, bring this in, drive, go for half guard. Okay, so one more time from the same position. So I'm going to try to bring my elbow down to the floor, turn my body, trim, push, bring my legs in. And now, 
I enter the half guard position from here. So we have worked on the setup of the half guard, and now we're going to work on different position on ideally where when I put him in the half guard, where his body going to be and what type of ideal position that he's going to be at. So we're going to cover on that part as well. Okay, so when I put Omar in half guard, ideally I don't want his weight distribution to be somewhere at this side of it. So I don't want his butt to be heavy, I don't want his leg to be heavy because now when he's here, he has full control of his body so he can also able to use his uh, hand to like pluck me and I lose the position from here. So what I want to do from here is I'm going to try to pull him as tight as possible and ideally I want him to sprout on top of me. The reason why is now his, all, most of his weight is going to be straight up on his hand. So this is where I'm able to have like control of his lower body better. Once I'm in this position, now we're going to cover on the leg work on ideally how am I going to set up my leg work for me to work into like different position like dog fight. So now from here, we're just going to drill this few times. So this is where we try to focus on this part itself. So now I'm going to extend my leg. Okay, I'm going to extend my leg. Now I'm going to underhook this leg. So now I'm going to try to elevate this leg by using my own leg and bring this leg out. And now I bring this leg back in, come back to triangle. So now again, one more time, I'm going to do the same setup. From here, straighten my leg, grab this leg, insert out, in, here. So try to work on these drills where we're going to work on the setup a few times, work on the uh, half guard entry where you're going to work on the leg work as well. So try to work on this position a few more times, and then now you're ready to set up for the dog fight position. Okay, so next, we, next we're going to cover on the dog fight position. So now, one very important thing for us to work on the dog fight position is how can I enter the position with a good setup? And it's very important because when I'm in half guard position, sometimes my opponent, my partner weight distribution may be in a different position. So sometimes their weight can be here, can be there. And also, what can I do to actually able to bring them in the right position? So I'm just going to show a few examples of what I mean by this. So now, I have a perfect position where his body is on top of me. And now I'm doing the light right, right leg work from here. And now I bring this leg out. In order for me to enter the dog fight position while his body weight is on top of me, it's really pretty hard for me to actually try to get up from here. And what can I do to actually set this up better is from here, I can push him up. When he comes back, I'm clear for the dog fight position. So one more time from different angle. So I'm in the half guard position. I go for my leg work. I have the control of the leg. Now, all I have to do is bring Omar to the other side. When he comes back, this is where I'm able to like set up for the dog fight position. Okay? Okay, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching uh, the part one in itself. In the next part, I'm going to show a bit more on like the dog fight position on what can we do to finish the position from there and also the next few episodes, we're also going to cover on this part itself. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys like my gi, don't forget to purchase my gi from jujitsuhood.com, which is my new sponsor, Jhood, And use my code uh, Raymond for 10% off site-wide. Okay, thank you so much guys for watching. Peace.